Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of Station Ears. And yes, as you can see by my inventory, I've been busy yet again. Because uh, today, I want to try to get uh, some stuff set up here. Uh, get some uh, power and uh, start getting into like some basic automation. I've been thinking about it. I actually want to start using this more for smelting my ores, because... Uh, that thing takes so long with copper, or uh, gold I should say. Uh, I did a whole bunch, couple of stacks of gold in no time. It's just a matter of getting the temperature right, but it, uh, I know enough about the logic and uh, consoles, terminals, displays, whatever, to you know get this thing sort of up and running. And I've been wanting to start getting everything set up on vending machines, because uh, Theoretically, with the vending machine, I should be able to access everything from a computer. Just be able to stand here and do all the stuff and try to get some automation. Uh, but actually, take care of this first. I was actually seeing how much the batteries were. Uh, I want to try to get some sort of battery buffer. Now, I do have copper. The problem is I want to make solar panels. And I actually want to make 20 of them. So, uh, let's take care of the solar panels first. It's actually going to make a battery now, which means I have to make more copper, which means I have to get more copper. Guys, I already started crafting it, which kind of sucks. You can't really cancel that. So, well, you could. You got to dismantle the whole machine, but I really don't want to do that. But anyways, uh, I have made a whole bunch of heavy cables. I made the, the sensors actually in the stacker right now. Uh, I'm going to put a link to the, the wiki uh, in uh, the description. So if you want to check out some of these guides that they have, you're more than welcome to. Um, I'm just going off of what I saw in there on the the guide it's the same one i saw i used last time i was on the wiki page i go there right at the very top they have it uh solar panel yeah so i want to get 20 of these going now i did notice a bit of an issue or i should say a bit of a glitch see i have just enough copper to make this um apparently the research is overridden on in the fabricator uh, i was i uh, Making some test beat samples around here, checking out different walls and stuff like that. I want to try to get some building going. And I made cladding. And I was checking it out to see what there was with cladding. I was like, okay, that's interesting. And I was going through the research here. Go ahead and turn this back on. There's actually a few things I want to get. Like I want to get the organics printer going and the foods going because I need to start eating soon. I'm almost at a cereal bars. Uh, but it was under, what was it? Construction. Cosmetic Joys. As you can see there, coffee mug, glasses, it cladding. I haven't researched it yet, but for some reason I can print it in uh, the fabricator. We go to the auto lathe here, where it's supposed to be printed. You don't actually see it in here. It shoots, container mount, crate door. There's no cladding in here. Uh, I did uh, post a debug report in Steam, whether or not it's been accepted or acknowledged or... It's approved for that matter. We shall see, but it is getting dark. Oh, these don't stack, do they? No, they... Oh, the pa solar panels do. All right, well, I, I'm gonna make the solar panels up. I'm gonna... I got that's two batteries now. I'd like to have at least six. I'll see what I can scrounge up. I might be able to get some more gold, uh, copper. But I do have... I do have some steel I made out of the batch, so we should be good on that. So let me get some stuff ready, and uh, hopefully the day will be back. Okay, I'm pretty much done. Uh, oh, jeez, these don't stack either. Uh, I went ahead and made uh, another four batteries, so I have six batteries total. Uh, this makes seven large transformers, and what I'm going to do is... I don't really know how the batteries are going to work. I do know that having the output of one battery directly onto an input of another battery will overload the... The wires. I did actually look on the wiki, and yes, uh, there is no limit to the amount of power that can go in or out of a battery. As far as the solid fuel generator goes, this actually outputs 20 kilowatts, and then the solar panels are 500. So, don't really know why the wires are frying. I think it maybe I was looping back with the APC in the previous setup. Oh, we're gonna run out of power here pretty quick. Uh, maybe the last fuel I burn here. Okay. That's up and running. We're almost red there. Uh, well, yeah, we are good to go. Uh, I'll show you some of the layout I've done. So I started working on this. This is basically where we're going to start setting up. I don't know if it's a little too big or not. There's going to be walkways around. It'll probably be a second story. We're going to have to get into hydroponics soon. Uh, from what I hear, there's chickens. We're definitely going to get some chickens going. And uh, all sorts of good stuff. 
So what I need to do is I'm going to be setting up my solar array along here. And then the circuitry is going to be on this side. And that's because the, sol the, the solar sensor, this thing here, when I said uh, light, has to be facing the sun or the sunrise. So that, and then I've got green cables for the data. And I got to make sure I have my on the data side, not the power side. And go from there. So uh, let me go ahead and get the solar panels in place and I'll bring you back. Okay, so there's all 20 of them now. So now uh, I'm actually going to go ahead and wire up the back side. So I've got the data on this side, I've got the power on this side here. And what this is going to be doing is going to be going into the heavy cable, and then before it goes into the first battery, there's going to be a transformer. And then there's going to be a battery in between each transformer, and I mean uh, the large, trans large transformer. A uh, large transformer has a maximum output of 50 kilowatts, so there's no chance of it actually frying this wire. And the small one was a maximum of 5 kilowatts. So I got to go lay a whole bunch of wire. I actually made almost two stacks of this. So I'm going to do this and I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. Needless to say, copper is not easy to find anymore. So I've been thinking about it and I'm probably going to end up using this. I've been thinking about a setup of how I can actually use the the auto miner. This is a small one, by the way. I don't know if, if there's a large one in the game yet or when they're going to add it. But uh, yeah, we'll deal with that in due time. So anyways. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah, I still got to hook these up. Hang on. Okay, I got that all set up. So now it's a matter of getting this all configured. Now, uh, I also do have to get an APC out here, so I will do that. Let's actually uh, let's find a spot for this. Where's the power controller? Do, 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 do. Uh, it's going to be the locker somewhere. Uh, yeah, so uh, there are two different variations of this one, or two versions of this particular one I'm doing. There's a basic and a, or a simplified and a full version. The full version is one I'm going to go for. And I am looking for a power controller, which I don't actually have. Really? I must have one here somewhere. Uh, nope. Generators, yada yada yada. Power controller. Oh, actually I need that. Give me those wires. Oink. Okay. So, uh, sun is going down, but that's fine. So, the way it's got to be set up, this also has to get power too. Um... I do have to get this all on the power, on the power cables, but uh, we need three memory chips, we need three processor chips, and three I.O. chips. And there's going to be different settings for each one, so um, I recommend I label things, which... Ah, we'll go without. It doesn't matter. Once it's in, it's in. Anyway, so we'll start with the, the memory chips. Uh, rotate the, the, these the right way. Uh, okay, yeah, that's the right way. So we do three memory chips like this. There's going to be a space, and then we're going to right, a logic reader. So that would be probably an I/O. Let's see here, logic reader, logic writer. Yes. So. It's going to be rotated again. It's upside down. Don't know why. There was a reader and there's going to be a writer at the end. I'm sorry, I'm looking at, uh, looking at my second monitor and I'm kind of squinting because I don't have my contacts in. Alright, so we need, I think, two min max. Oh, sorry. Two math units. So. Uh, logic Math, Logic Compare, Logic Select. Hmm, saying Math Unit. Is that Logic Math? Oh yeah, this actually says it there. Math Unit, okay. Two Math Units. And then... It was a Min Max. Logic Min Max. In max unit, and then we go back to here, and this will be a batch writer. Yeah, logic reader and batch writer, and the reason why it has to be a batch writer because it's writing to more than one solar panel, and that is the wrong way. All right, so let's see here, batch writer. 
All right, so now it's a matter of hooking up. Actually, gotta get things set up first here. So I need to get a screwdriver for this one. Pull out the handy dandy tool belt. Grab a screwdriver. And I go over to the other page here. And so now it's just a matter of setting uh, things. So the first one's going to be 15. Oh, that's way too high. Let's go this one here. Okay, 15, then 1.5. And I have no idea what these are actually meaning, but I'm just going by what I see on the on the screen, right? And 100. Okay, so the logic reader has to be set to solar angle. Oh, I gotta wire this up before I do anything. Hold on. Okay, so I gotta go ahead and make some more cables while I'm waiting for that. So I figure while we're doing that, let's go ahead and uh, start getting. Uh, our shorted out power system up and running. Now I've been thinking about where I want to put the batteries and I almost want to try to put them down on the back wall here if I can. Uh, if it'll let me rotate it that way. No, it won't. Hmm. Okay, uh... I guess we're gonna have to start it up here then. Are we gonna have enough room? Probably not. Maybe we'll do. I'll run another line of frames down the back side here and then we'll build onto that. Okay, so I got everything uh, down in place. Um, I'm actually running out of jetpack fuel pretty pretty quick here, so that means I'm going to have to. Uh, I think just off gases come out of the furnace, go into a canister, and that's my fuel, I think. We shall find out. But anyways, uh, so I have wires I can uh, I try to keep these separated so I'm not... Um, uh, to do, mixing them up. I don't, have, I don't want to have to repaint them again. But anyways, what I'm going to do is going to be a battery transformer, battery transformer, so... Uh, put... Actually start with transformer. Transformer is there. Now there's going to be an in and out and a data, so that doesn't really matter. But I think... It's not actually up against the wall, is it? It is, but I can still wire it. Okay, so battery or transformer, battery, where is the output? The output's on this side. Okay, so it's gonna be staggering. Transformer, battery, transformer, battery. I have them in line, and it's gonna be a nice long bank. So I'm gonna take care of this, get it all wired up, and I'll bring you back. And then we'll fry the whole system. Okay, so I have got it all. Uh, more or less set up. I'm gonna go with five batteries for now just because you know it's what I got for space. So all that's gonna have to do is hook this up and it should start charging these batteries up. I uh, do have to turn the transformer on. We'll set it up to uh, might as well go all the way which I believe is 50 kilowatts. And I'm only doing this so it doesn't fry the batteries. Turn that on. Turn that on. We'll set all these up. I don't know. I should do this off camera, so I'll be right back. Okay, so it's all set up. So hopefully, hopefully this all works out. And we'll find out as soon as these start getting power. So the only other thing I have up to do is actually have to get power down to this thing. Now, where am I going to get this from? I do have a battery here I could probably be coming off of. Might actually do that. And I actually have my wire right there. That's from the miner. So let me gather up this wire and... Uh, actually, I'll just patch it right into here, I think. Yeah, I might as well do that. Do it the lazy way, since I got the transformer here already. Uh, let's see here. Like so. So, basically what I've got set up is... Uh, yeah, I've got the solar cell set up there. And it's going to... Um, into the data network. Now the data wires, they can all be connected be just because of the fact that they're going through like a uh, solar panel and memory chips and stuff like that. And we'll go through that in a second once I get it all configured, once it's time to configure everything. But first what I need to do is get power to here. Uh, so let's go ahead and get a 
power supply or power controller. Make sure we're going into the unit. Like so. And uh, keep all our power wires red. Oh, batteries are charging. And we'll go take a look and see if anything's fried in a second here. But yes, these do need actual power. Just uh, these ones. The memory chips don't. Yeah, I am doing this right. So we get this all set up. Now, realistically, I probably should be coming off of the main batteries there. Speaking of main batteries... Nothing's fried. That's good. Well, we haven't drawn anything off of it. Okay, now it's a matter of getting this hooked up. So let me do that and then we'll set up the solar panels. Okay, so I've decided to do things a little bit differently here. Uh, I was going to actually come off the other bat bat battery I've got set up there, but why? And I've got these batteries already charging. Well, I need to put a three way junction here. If I can. With the right rotation. Actually, uh, yeah, we'll go a three way junction and then get some straights coming off of here. And this is just basically going to be like a main bus bar. And I just hook small transformers up to this, and we are good to go. Let's take that one out. And then put a small transformer here. And like so. Hang on. And out. It will turn you on, so you do. So it only needs to be a couple hundred, really. But do a 2000. And that just goes into here. Like so. I get that, uh, that corner piece. Okay, there, and like so, and you're done. Actually, you're not done. Now, I gotta open this. Stick the battery in here. Hit the switch, and close it. So now, everything is go. All I gotta do is configure everything. Alright, so, logic reader goes to daylight sensor and it's going to be 20 solar panels mm. that's why it's not changing when I click daylight sensor and then we change this to solar angle solar angle okay min max unit it's going to be uh, subtract Sorry, I'm just looking at the image. You'll see it on the wiki. So yeah, the, uh, this has to be to changed to result from logic reader. Yeah, I think that's supposed to be that. Subtract, and this is going to be changed to memory 15. Okay, and then this one, again, uh, I have to name, label these, hold on, okay, let's try this again, so yeah, uh, that's coming, uh, taking a result from the logic reader, so that's the output there, and that's math input one, so this is going to be there, so now I got to change this to, uh, Input one. That one. Hang on, I gotta change this. Oh yeah, okay. That's gonna be uh, math one. Input math one is gonna be
And this is going to be memory 1.5, I think. And... Divide. I believe so. This was subtract. Divide. If I'm doing this. Okay, so we want result of math 2 less memory 100. Less 100. Then we go over here. This would be a solar. Oh, hold on. Uh, logic bin max. Oh, uh, no device. No, oh, wait, do I actually have to, he's turned on for us to work now? Is that what's going on? Oh, no. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot one thing. Got no output. So this just has to hook right back into the data line. Uh, as soon as I get my wires right. And let me just chain my tool here. Okay. Now I'll go back to the screwdriver. Yes, the screwdriver. And now we can change that to solar panel. Uh, that writer solar panel, and this was a vertical. And there they go. Just like that. It's a shame we missed it though. But that is that. Hopefully nothing fries at this end. Oh look at this the battery this battery's full already. Okay, yeah, that's is basically what I was hoping it was gonna do. Uh, all the power is gonna drain into whatever battery is furthest down the line. So that one's gonna fill up and this one will fill up. But because all the power is in here, the transformer and the other batteries are turned off until solar, panel, solar panels get their sun. So I'm going to uh, print up a filter or two, get myself taken care of, and I'll bring you back for the sunrise, and we'll see how well she holds up. Okay, sun's going to be coming up any time now. I can tell by the, the vertical degree here. Um... Everything should be okay. They are facing the wrong way uh, because I had uh, basically got to go through one cycle for it to set up properly because I had activated it or I hooked up the the logic to it when it was already dark. So it's not going to respond until the first sunrise that it detects. So anyways, uh, yeah, so like I was saying, anything, all I have to do for power is just connect off of this cable. Uh, with a transformer, I can have as many transformers on here as I want. Uh, the transformers are limited to 5,000. If I have 20 transformers on here that draw 100,000, they won't because this transformer will stop them from drawing more than 50. So that is my theory, and hopefully that works. Anyway, uh, sun should be coming up because you can almost you can just see it on the Earth there, and we will watch our solar panels spin around. And I think we're in it in the episode here because I was checking the recording time and uh, we're a little ways. We're about 25 minutes. Sorry. All right, let's go back over here and. Come on. You turn around. Do I have to turn these around manually? I think I do. Hmm. Uh, logic so all good I guess I do hold on okay I think that's it so I turned them all around I actually got them right at 90 minus 90 degrees and they seem to be 
getting somewhat maximum efficiency. It's not 100%. Uh, let's see if fine tuning it makes a difference. And it doesn't really. So we'll just leave it there, but already we have two full batteries, which is good. Uh, yeah, we have power now, but we'll see how long it lasts, especially when I start getting things going, right? But so what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this go for another cycle and let it go down and I'll bring you back in the morning and we can watch the solar panels spin around. So I will be back. Okay, we're almost there. I'm just watching the solar panels now at 3% and they're starting to generate power already. So I think what's happening is they're going back on the night cycle and they're going to continue on as soon as they start going back the other way when the sun comes up. At least that's the, the theory, anyways. Yeah, I think I got something wrong here. Possibly. There's another something about... Uh, something about going negative like that. Uh, let me investigate and I'll be back. Okay, yeah, it is definitely working. So it uh, it was more or less going off of the angle of the sun, so that's why I was reading negative. As soon as it got to 100%, it started going up. So we are generating almost 10 kilowatts right now, so that is good. And so anyways, we're going to call this one here. I think uh, next episode we're going gonna to work on... Oh. Yeah, that's just more warnings. I'm going to work on getting a bit of a little enclosure base or whatever set up, try to get some life support and uh, a place where I can take my helmet off and actually breathe for a change. But we are good to go. We got limitless power. We got four batteries full. The fifth one is charging right now and uh, that should hold up. But anyways, uh, yeah. So thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to leave me a like. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Baby.